Japón en bachata. <laughs> oh my God. Is the worst of the world. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, that's true. That's not. Yeah, that's not good, okay. Well, if it is in English, probably, right? But I don't think so that we don't have reggaeton in English, right? Nice. Uh, let's see, now you're able to listen, right? No están escuchando doble, right? It's just me. I guess my internet is not working well porque se escucha como bien después lo que estoy diciendo según estoy oyendo. Okay, but anyway, we have to continue. Okay, Jaime, welcome, Jaime. So, Jaime mentioned something that you hate to do and why? Jaime? Yes, I hate to do. Hello, Jaime, can you hear me? No está Jaime, no tiene audio. Um, okay, so no problem. Angie Lopez, what about you, Angie? Mention something that uh, you hate to do and why? Um, I hide laundry. Okay, I hate. Hate, that's the word I hate, hate. Uh, to do the laundry. Okay, uh -huh. nice. I hate to do the laundry. Okay, so that is the uh, correct pronunciation. Uh, let's see, let's see what else. Um, so look at the picture that we have right here, just for you to see. Sometimes we also say dislike, okay? Like in Facebook, if you have your phone in English, you can like on Facebook, right? So yeah, espero que lo tengan en inglés, okay? Uh, like the scissors. Exactly, okay? So you can like uh, something and the opposite would be dislike and hate will be even worse. So me gusta, no me gusta y odio, right? So if you say I dislike, that means that you do it, but you don't like it. But if you say, I hate, so that means that that's something that you don't really uh, want to do or you, that you don't really, really uh, enjoy doing it, okay? So it says, I dislike playing volleyball. You dislike listening to reggaeton music. <laughs> we dislike swimming. They dislike driving a car. I hate taking photos. We hate playing the playing the float. I don't like riding bicycle and you don't like writing a letter. So those are examples that we can use with the word dislike or hate, okay? So uh, let's continue. We have this new model objective. Uh, Herbert Douglas, can you help me with the reading please? Herbert? Hello, hello, Herbert, can you hear me? Just read the, the information that we have there. Hmm, okay, creo que está frist. Estamos con problemas de internet right now. So Astrid, go ahead, thank you. Help me can with I the reading. Thank you, Fidel. Okay. <laughs> Lo siento. <laughs> yeah, no problem. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statement. In the simple past, using regular verbs. Additionally, you will practice in conversation which illustrate how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay, thank you, Angie, appreciate it, okay, nice. Perfect, it says that at the end of this class, you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past, regular verbs, and later we will see irregular verbs as well. Additionally, 
uh, you will practice a conversation which illustrate how this topic is used in real life sharing. Okay, so we are about to start the simple past. Okay, that's an English tense that we have, like in Spanish, we have el pasado simple, right? So we do have the simple past in English as well. So we will see that in English, uh, we have the um, regular verbs and irregular verbs. Okay, I have an example right here for the simple past. Okay, this is the regular verbs rules. Uh, this is something grammar, okay? If we practice and we learn and we uh, do examples and everything, probably we will be able to master these rules, okay? But this is something that we need to learn, okay? Esto es como, como la gramática en el español, right? Que usted tiene que aprenderse los verbos. Se han fijado que los niños cuando empiezan a hablar this, eh, los verbos los conjugan mal. Nosotros ya, nosotros que sabemos, eh, ya decimos, yo comí ayer. So that's an expression in Spanish, means that you did something in the past. Okay, so uh, when we are learning to talk, how to speak, so nosotros no, los niños no saben conjugar al principio los verbos y usted va a escuchar que dicen, yo mañana comí. Right? So that's because they don't know grammar, okay? They are learning the grammar, okay? The same story in English. So we need to learn how to use the correct verbs, okay? And look at what we have right here, okay? We have the regular verbs, spelling rules. And it says that if we have a verb, okay? This is for verbs, okay? Try to keep it in your mind. If uh, we have a verb in the base form, and uh, this work uh, is, we need to add the ed. A la mayoría de verbos se les agrega ed. A la mayoría, no a todos, okay? It's not all the verbs, but most of them, to make the verb in past, so to make the verb form in past, we need to add the ed at the end. We have an example right here, the verb walk. Okay, walk, that will be in the past. Play, played. Okay, so this will be in the past. So we add a ED at the end and now the bear is in the past. Okay, I can say I played soccer yesterday with my friends. Okay, so that's a sentence uh, using the simple past. But then we have other verbs, okay? And if we have a verb that ends in letter E, we are going to add just the letter D, okay? Like the examples, like the verb, like. So you just add the letter D at the end and now the verb is in the past, okay? I like to um, be with you or I uh, like, the picture I saw yesterday, okay? Move, okay? I moved from my house last year, okay? Remember that every time that we are talking in Spanish, we, in past, I'm sorry, that we are talking in the past, so we need to use expressions in the past. Which ones are uh, expressions in the past? Like yesterday, last week, last month, last year, a few minutes ago. So everything that is about the past, so we can use it in the sentences, okay? We will see some examples. The third rule says, la tercera regla, right? The third rule, rule says um, that the verbs that are the ones that are ending in a consonant plus Y, we are going to change the letter Y into an I, and then we use, we add the, I, the ing, okay? We put the ed, I'm sorry, we put the ed. So one more time, if we have the birds that they are ending in a consonant plus a letter y, so we need to change the letter y into an i plus ed, okay? So look at the examples, carry, 
Ok, carry. This is a bear. Ok, si yo quiero poner este verbo en pasado, I have to change the letter Y for a letter I plus ED. Ok, now carry. Ok, carry. This bird is already in past. Ok, look at the, the other example. Study. That's a present, this base form of the bird. So if you want to use this bird in past, so you need to change the letter Y and you put a letter I and ED. Now the bird is in simple past. Okay, I studied, I studied yesterday my English class. Okay, so I studied my English class yesterday. So that's a simple, uh, a simple past sentence. And at the end says, some verbs ending in a single consonant plus the second uh, last letter. It's a vowel, double the last letter plus ed. Okay, so estas son como reglas que hay que aprender. Okay, so it says some verbs uh, ending in a single consonant. Okay, ¿qué es una consonant? Consonant. ¿Qué es una consonant? Una con letters that don't have a sound. Exactly. Or the no are vowels. The, the opposite of vowels, right? The vowels is I, E, O, right? So those are in, in Spanish, the vowels. So in English, the same, okay? The consonants are the letters that we have in the alphabet, okay? So if the bird ends in a single consonant, okay? Plus, uh, the, we, need to, uh, this, we need to add the second last letter, okay? Le voy a, a sumar o voy a agregar la letra con la que finaliza el verbo. Look at the example plan. Ok, todos estos verbos que son así como de una sílaba, ok, very short. So, we are going to double the last letter. I'm sorry, we are going to double the last consonant, that is the last letter, plus ED, ok, plus ED. Example plan, planned, stop, stop, ok, so we do the negative, the, the simple pass of the verb. Okay, this is something very important because when you are talking in English and if you are talking about something that you did yesterday, so you need to talk in past, means that you need to use the verbs in past. Okay, so no puedo estar hablando en pasado y usando los verbos en presente, right? Because they will say, oh my God, you're talking in the past or you are talking for right now. So we need to learn the rules. Esto... Hay que aprenderlo. No hay una... Eh, esta es una forma fácil. Porque aquí le dice co, cómo usted va a hacer en pasado el verbo. Dependiendo de su terminación. Ok. But we need to memorize the rules. We need to study the verbs. Ok. Um, I was trying to uh, look for a list of verbs. Okay, and I have, I guess I put it right here an example, but uh, I will show you later the, the, the list that I have, but the thing is that we need to study, okay? Los verbos hay que aprendérselos. We need to memorize the verbs, okay? Because if you don't have verbs, if you don't know the verbs, so you are not able to talk, okay? El verbo es lo que le da la acción a la oración, dicen en español, right? Así lo hemos aprendido. So if we don't have birds, if you don't know birds, so how you will talk? You need to memorize many, many, many birds and in the three forms, okay? Ahorita solo hemos visto, estamos en presente, simple past, but we have the past participle, pero eso lo vamos a ver más adelante en futuros uh, seminars, right? But right here, that's the, the main rules, okay? We have the main rules right here for the regular birds, okay? Verbs, we have two types of verbs. We have regulars and irregulars, okay? No hemos llegado a los irregulares. Solo estamos viendo los regular verbs. And here are the rules. I don't know if it is clear or if we have any question about these uh, regular birds rules. 
No. Ok, so remember, si el verbo termina en la forma base, normalmente yo le voy a agregar una ED al final y ya lo tengo en pasado, right? Si el verbo termina en letter E, so ya no le agrego la ID porque ya tengo la I, solo agrego la letter D. Ok, now if the verb ends in a letter Y, si termina en Y, so I have to change the letter Y into a letter I plus the ED, ok, el ED siempre se lo voy a poner cuando ya le haya cambiado la Y into I. And the last rule is that if the bar is extremely short, it's just one syllable, so the last consonant, I'm going to double the last consonant, ok, I will put it one more time, the last consonant, plus the ED, like the examples we have. Ok, let's see what else we have right here about the Simple past, okay? And um, what we have right here, it's the rules, okay? And I have it here for the verb to be and the, um, and also the, the normal verbs, regular verbs, okay? So look, verb to be. We know the verb to be am, is, are, okay? You say, I am a teacher. He is my friend. We are students, okay? So, ese es el verbo to be en la forma simple, en la forma presente, right? Uh, eso ya lo vimos, o sea, lo, tuve, lo vimos allá en el módulo 1. Allá se los estoy enseñando los del para los principiantes 1, right? So, now we have this, uh, that is the verb to be, but in past, okay? We have the same story. We have positive, we have negative, and we have questions. Okay, so if you want to create a, a positive uh, sentence using the simple past, so with the verb to be, you need the subject and you need was and where plus the complement, right? We have an example, they were friends. Uh, we, we, uh, we were friends, okay? Or he was, okay? Acuérdense que el, el was, Va a ser para he, she, it. Y los demás subjects will be where. Ok. So yo quiero decir una oración en, en pasado simple, en pasado. Usando el verbo to be, voy a usar los auxiliares was and where. Ok. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, eh, es una no al revés. ¿En which one? Was is for I, you, I was uh, in exactly. the laundry, to the laundry, or I don't know. Uh, you say the other. <laughs> I was, that's me, right? I was in the living room yesterday, okay? So we will say you were, okay? You were, they were, okay. yeah, you, we were, they were. okay? Were. Exactly. Perfect. I'm sorry. Probably I make a mistake right there, but thank you, Fidel. No problem. Okay. For me, listen, but I don't know. I don't know, but don't worry. Okay. It's nice. It's nice that you are paying close attention. Okay. That's the important. Nice. Now, let's see if we need a bird to be in the past, but now in a negative. So we are going to use not like in, in the bird to be. So they say, I am a teacher. In negativo, I am not a teacher. So now in past, okay? I was uh, eating pupusas yesterday. Now in negative, I was not eating pupusas yesterday, okay? So we have the structure right here. And we have a question right here. Uh, were you with your classmates yesterday at night? So that's a question, right? Using uh, where, okay? So they were friends, okay? Or uh, they were not friends, okay? Or were they your friends, okay? Eran ellos sus amigos, tus amigos? Were they your friends, okay? So that's how we use the uh, bird to be. And what else we have right here? We have the birds, okay? So if we want to talk in simple past, this will be the structure, okay? We need a subject, we need the bird, and we need the ED. That means that we need the bird in past. 
lo que les acabo de mencionar. Si yo estoy hablando en pasado, tengo que mencionar y escribir y decir el verbo en pasado, right? So that's why it says right here that you need the ED. That means the simple pass of the verb. Now, if we have a negative, okay, a negative um, sentence, okay, we have the subject, we have the auxiliary did, okay, did, plus the verb, y aquí el verbo va en la forma based. Aquí no le voy a poner id, okay, every time that we have a, sorry, every time that we have an auxiliary, the verb will be in the base form, okay, so look. She didn't work yesterday. No tengo una idea aquí. Si fuera en positivo, yes. She worked yesterday. Aquí sí, mire, el verbo con ed, because this one is a positive sentence, okay? Now that we have a negative sentence, so it says she didn't work. Mire, el verbo está en su forma base. No le agrego, no le pongo nada, adornos, porque I have an auxiliary right here. And the same story right here with the questions, okay? Did she work yesterday? Siempre que tengo un auxiliar, el verbo va a ir en la forma base. But if I don't have an auxiliary, you need to put the ed or the i ed, dependiendo de qué verbo sea, con las terminaciones que acabamos de mencionar en el cuadrito anterior. So this one is like the base structure, okay? Aquí se lo dejo así para que se de ustedes puedan verlo como una fórmula, right? So in that way you can create your own sentences, okay? Um, let's see, we still have this activity, okay? Probably this will be part of a, a homework, okay? So because it's kind of long, but I try to, I don't know, I will take a screenshot right here and I will send it through the WhatsApp or you can send it as well. So. Try to do it, okay? So what you have to do basically here is complete the conversation, okay? Complete the paragraph by using the words in parentheses in the past simple tense, okay? Usted va a ver el, el verb that we have between parentheses and that's the verb that you are going to write down right here, but in simple past. De esa manera usted va a practicar los verbos en pasado, right? Oh, everything is in past. Mire, last year, my friend Ivan and I took, okay, took a trip to France. I never traveled, le agrego ID, to another country before that trip. We studied French for two months before. So, and so on, try to uh, complete the paragraph as a homework, okay? Because of the time, so we are not going to um, complete it, but probably tomorrow lo vamos a leer, okay? So try to uh, complete this activity. Uh, what else we have right here? Yeah, oh my God, we have four minutes, okay? So tomorrow we are going to continue with this one, okay? We will see the irregular birds, okay? Simple pass, but with irregular birds, okay? So that's something that we will continue tomorrow. And as I told you, I have a list right here that we will see tomorrow, okay? Hay unas listas inmensas. Traté de buscar una no tan grande, no tan pequeño para que tengamos un par de verbos. But what I'm going to do Voy a buscar una lista de verbos y les voy a mandar un link para que el que lo quiera descargar, pero son miles de sí. verbos. Si yo les pongo aquí, no termino de, de nunca las, la presentation, right, for the uh, birds. Uh, yes, go ahead. Teacher, solo quería, solo quería mencionar algo. Yes, Jessica, go ahead. Fíjese que yo tengo un folleto que es igual del INSAFOR, yo puedo compartir los verbos. Traer ah, okay. todo completo. Okay, Se lo voy a compartir so, por WhatsApp. Yeah, put it in the put it in the in the WhatsApp group, please. Because los verbos niños así de fácil, o se los aprende o se los aprende. No hay una fórmula mágica que usted se va a inventar el verbo. Los verbos ya están. Entonces los verbos hay que aprenderlos. Ok, usted quiere eh, tener más vocabulario y saber cómo pronunciar y cómo conversar. 
sin verbo, sin acción, no se puede hablar. Así es que los verbos hay que aprenderlos, ¿verdad? Y hay que aprendérselos en la forma simple, in the past and also the past participle, okay? So I have just uh, three minutes for the attendance, okay? So uh, let me stop sharing right here. And I'm going to pass the attendance um, one more time, okay? Please, uh, as soon as you listen to your name, uh, say yes, I'm here. Uh, one more time, okay? Ahorita solo nos quedamos con los regular birds, okay? Trate de estudiar eso, la, la regla, okay? De agregar el ed, no es que a todos los verbos, yo a todos le pongo ed. Yo to, no, no es así. We have some rules, okay? Some verbs, you just need to add the letter D. Some others, you will double the last consonant plus the ED and the other ones that ends with Y. So you change the Y for an I and then you add the ED. Okay, ahí está la regla. So let me see the attendance really quick. Okay, here we go. So let's see Anna Astrid. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Ana Bernarda. Here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Ana Cristina. No. Uh, Ana Lisbeth. Ana Lisbeth, no. Ana Miriam. No. Ana Victoria. I'm here. I'm Thank here. you, Miss. Thank you. Angie Elizabeth. Thank you. Carla Raquel. Present teacher. Thank you. Oh my God, I receive an error one more time that my internet connection is not. Well, Cindy Areli. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Cindy Cordelia Elizabeth. Daniel Edgardo. Present. Thank Present. you, Daniel. Diana Lisbeth. Present. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, Doris Maricela. Doris, no, uh, Edwin Edgardo. Present teacher. Thank you, Edwin. Uh, Edwin Aita. Present teacher. Thank you, Eneida Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you, Erica Eloisa. Erica, Eugenia Asunción. Present, Miss. Thank you, Fidel Natanael. Here. Thank you, Francisco Javier. Hey, teacher. Thank you, Francisco. Uh, German Mejia. Present, teacher. Thank you, Glenda Annette. Glenda Annette. Harold Eduardo. Present, teacher. Thank you, Herbert uh, Douglas. Present teacher. Thank you, Hilda Milagro. Here teacher. Thank you, Ingrid Xiomara. Present Miss. Thank you, Irene Beatriz. Irene Beatriz. I'm here teacher. Thank you, Jaime Antonio. I'm here. I present Miss. Thank you, Jefferson Mauricio. No. Jessica Guadalupe. Present teacher. Okay, perfect. So thank you so much for your time. So please work in the platform as much as you can. And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? Thank you for being here. Thank you for uh, being on time, okay? Ana Miriam, ya le puse ahí present. And Herbert, okay, don't worry. So thank you, see you tomorrow, okay? Please enjoy the rest of the night. 
rest and study if it is possible, okay? Estudiemos los verbos, okay? Nice, so bye-bye, take care. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.